Invasive pests is an issue that um, is heavily on this industry now. We look to the north, the light brown apple moth is a threat, not only to this industry, but most industries. I think there's 250 hosts uh, for that pest. And the consequences of it coming into a production area are very severe. Our trading partners do not want that pest in their country. And the regulations that they place on us, the requirements they place on us to keep that pest out of their country uh, are very serious and they're, they're uh, strongly enforced. Uh, the implications are that our uh, export programs can be shut down when invasive pests become a problem. In the past we can look at uh, Medfly, that was a classic one, um, and there's been others. Um, I think as the society has moved away from the rural communities and gotten out of production agriculture, um, a consequence has been that they've lost touch with some of those uh, concerns that the, uh, uh, the agriculture community has. Um, we've become very much a minority and telling our story, uh, try as we might, for some people it just does not register on their radar that this industry can be wiped out by a little moth and for many that is not a high priority for their tax dollars or for any energy uh, exerted by public administration officials. Certainly uh, the control methods we have now for keeping evasive pests out are incredibly uh, people friendly compared to where, the way they once were. We're able to use uh, uh, pheromone confusion in many instances to keep these pests at bay. Uh, it's a proven safe method. Um, we're surrounded with it right here for other pests that are uh, already resident pests that are not a, uh, an export threat. Uh, I use pheromone confusion for oriental fruit moth, for peach twig borer oriental uh, uh, coddling moth. Uh, successfully, we literally have them right in our backyards. We live in, in, in these orchards. Um, my folks' place is just south of us here. They have a plum tree within 20 feet of their, their back fence. We have pluot trees within 30 feet of our fences. Uh, we're surrounded by them. Um, they are, these methods of, of controlling these invasive pests are proven to be safe and I am hopeful that common sense will prevail as time goes on and that the ag community will continue to have support from the populations of, of California, particularly those in the, in the urban settings and the politicians who govern our state that will uh, allow us to continue to fight these invasive pests effectively.